K regarding the exteriors of the properties at Broadway and Panora. There's 250 foot frontage from the corner of Panora heading east on Broadway. We got the three main buildings. So this is 5070 with a, it's about an 18 by 18 detached. So we have a uh, electric line coming from in here, which this is all boiler heat in the building. So the one boiler heat controls the rear apartment and the storefront. And then the electric off of the storefront goes to support this garage and it's underground to this garage too. So the, uh, the gas is supported for the whole building and the electric for the lower uh, storefront controls the, the two garages. That's a foam insulated garage. We got foam insulation all through the attic. That's a three bedroom, one and a half bath apartment in there. And then of course the storefront uh, parking lot just got coated. Lines are coming in Sunday. And when we got to pass through here, this is our trailer. This is our personal trailer. That's a personal trailer to the guy who rents here. And that garage gets rented. So I'll give you those numbers on the right. So we got to pass through here. This is where I never got blacktop. And there's a story behind that. We got a driveway coming in from here. This is a two bedroom lower, two bedroom upper. Both of them got their own utilities. The lower is moving out the 15th of this month. So we'll start promoting that again. The upper's been, was there when we bought the place. Great tenant, um, so she's a keeper. Uh, now we have got the power. What, what it is, is this garage back here is a uh, two and a half car garage. Foam insulated walls and ceiling also. And it's got its own power meter. And we have got a underground service coming through here and up on the side of the house just to give us lighting here so we don't take from the electrical from the tenants. So that's how that is. So you got outside power here if you need it. And then of course on the side here if you need it. Uh, as far as the exterior equipment goes, we've got two plows, one red and one yellow with the two trucks, the, the Chevy here, four wheel drive and a Ford there. I'll snapshot all of the registrations, numbers and everything. Um, and then we've got, this is what we call T1. This is our diesel, uh, oldest one of the crew. Uh, truck runs great. This has got a five inch gutter machine. This is our service cube, which we still owe a few payments on it. Uh, this is a real nice truck too. And then this is our profile truck that's got the profile gutter machine in it. Okay, um, those are all brand new landers up on this, this one too. So that's uh, the trucks. The only truck that isn't here is what we call T3, which is a, a profile truck just like this but newer and gas the skidster is not going and we've got a snow blower that is part of the skidster that's not going and the forklifts for the skidster is not going those are those are mine this is owned by maze uh he's got a company that rock hound is owned by maze and then of course that's my auger for the skidster so any of my skidster parts are not going uh, outside inventory we've got all this wood and everything um You've got this day-to-day -day dump trailer here. Uh, so what it is, is we've got uh, the two-story barn that we've got the drainage coming in through the back. It goes into this DI and this, this DI comes off to the side. This all pilfers through where this stone is and then goes to that DI out there and then out to the street. So everything here has fantastic drainage. This is all six inch, 5,000 pound mixed concrete. Uh, this one was did, done when we when we built the barn, not shortly yet, not long after we built the barn, and then the other section was done, and it says 2016, which wow, that flew. Uh, so this was all done in 2016. Wow. Um, and then of course the blacktop. So that's the outside stuff we've got. Uh, this is the job, and this is the last roof he did for us. Aluminum bin here. We stack our pallets here, so all of our in the morning the, the guys come in, they unload the scrap for the aluminum here. All of our cardboard goes in here, and once a month or once every two months, we'll take this thing and just forklift it in the back of one of the empty, the empty day to day, chain it off, and go dump it over there on Walden and uh, Transit. There's the uh, recycling board. There's a, a boatload of vinyl soffits and siding trim in here that we use on the inside here. 
and then there's a bunch of siding also between the two buildings there you probably find you know two three two three square of each ship it's not all colored there and of course we do our just got our minute shingles here that we got um cut off down spots we usually keep our three by four down spots in here our bigger commercial size down spots which i just ordered some more and then of course we've got our uh, a lot of times we'll get jobs that we take off or damage and whatnot and we'll get extra gutter helmet panels so and then these are our strips when we do uh fascia mount gutters we cut these off and we use those for drip edge extension and sell them to customers so that's that's the gutter business uh but anyways we'll go through and and film all of this for for the product but those are the items that are not staying here and that's going to be one of the plows with our duramax which isn't here the bobcat with the snowblower attachment forklift attachment and the auger attachment and that does not belong to us that belongs to may's tree service he's got to come get it one of these days so that's the outside stuff um oh you've got a boatload of pvc plumbing this is where we keep all of our pvc piping underneath the steps here okay um we've got some tires we can have this cleaned up and out this is a this is actually a 16 this came off of the uh, duramax uh three-quarter ton chevy if you got one so did that one so those two came off the three-quarter ton chevy there's some life left on those tires if you got one that'll work on uh, we always have we always a lot of times we go to jobs and if we got some demos or whatever we'll just take these cans with us take the demo in the back of the barn we've got all this stuff here we've got fencing chain link fencing we got some big galvanized drip and stuff like that uh with with some more piping this black hose here this is just a raceway so what we did was we came and we ran a gas line that comes out here and it goes over to the side of the 5070 you can see it's sticking up there and then we just ran a black pipe there in case you ever want to run any phone system or any other connection from point A to point B. You can see it sticking up there. Uh, we got more cinder blocks and pav pavers and stuff like that. Uh, they go with it. This guy, that's his fence line that keeps blowing down. He accused us of breaking it once. This guy, Jimmy, back here is really cool. He's retired. He used to blow up the uh, dynamite at Buffalo Crush Stone. So... Every now and then I'll use them for a clutch. Uh, give them a couple bucks of cash to go get go get something for from a wholesaler or whatever. And then uh, we got some some gates and grates and stuff like that. And then uh, the guys tend to we've got some hanging up here. I got some awnings set up here forever. And we used to take them and stack all of our old beat up ladders here. And every once a year I would end up letting them go for you know 100 bucks or so. That little shanty's about due to get wrapped up and protected, whether it be with vinyl or more Tyvek. So I'm gonna do that on a on a sad day or an off day if you don't do it after me. So that is the outside of the property. And then this is the back side. Uh, we're back up to the dry cleaners over there. Uh, I, w I went ahead and guttered and helmeted that dry cleaner so we didn't have any water coming in to this garage it's pretty clean so and these ladders are all old we won't use them uh i'll probably end up selling those for like 100 bucks for all of them get them out there somebody can piecemeal and put them together okay and then uh that's it i'll get you all the codes and keys to get in this is the other siding that uh this truck isn't usually here. Like I said, we're going to leave it here till Tuesday because they're going to come put the lines in Sunday. So there's a bunch of vinyl siding here. This scaffolding is sold that belongs to my drywall guy. And he's supposed to come get it. And he's yet to do that. So you can see how I'm surprised this wall hasn't bowed out or popped out. So, and then as far as snow plowing goes, usually the majority of snow goes right in this here on the grass area here and there's usually nothing parked over here to the left of the day-to-day -day trailer and that's usually where that plowing well that snow usually goes back there all right and then of course once the snow blower's out of here then you'll have that the box will stay but the blower is going to go all right uh but like i said that building's gonna need a roof okay